I believe that um, that on a certain level of whatever, like just the energy that um, Trap Boy Freddy and Yellow BZ or whatever, just having like grudges, if they had grudges or ill will intentions to happen for, to happen against or towards Mo3 for, you know, the way that they felt about him, I believe that, um, you know, just that energy alone, but nevertheless, let's jump over here to this part, like, mainly, those niggas right there, I mean, well, I'm not gonna say niggas, because we do need to, we don't want other races to call us niggas, but we used it, everybody used it, like, I had like a group of Spanish people come in to my job and they be sitting up there saying it, tell me, I'm not just to get this nigga, you know, you, people just feel comfortable with saying it, but you know when they're saying it in like a cool like way and you know when they're saying it in like a ugly like way because you got people that are literally really still prejudiced and they're, they, they speak it in that term like to be ugly so nevertheless what I'm speaking on is um, the matter of the situation of let's jump back over here to how it's crazy that um, Mo3 was with this girl whatever that they're um, claiming that it was her dude or her her boyfriend that or her baby's daddy or whatever Mo3 was like basically you have to know like a lot of these people man just to have one night with a celebrity or a person that a, a person that have a high status quota or that's look at in a high maintenance matter, like celebrities, actresses, artists, all of that, like people will kill, steal and destroy other people to be with people as such that's, you know, looked at to be higher than everyone else that's doing something great in the world or whatever. So when it comes to all of this that's going on for for this matter or whatever like when it comes to all all of this that's going on or whatever to do with Mo3 Chad Boy Freddy Yellow Boy Yellow Boy BZ whatever his name is I don't really know his name like that or whatever um I don't really know these people like that. I'm just speaking what I feel or whatever. Like, like I'm stating, you have to be careful regardless to the fact of, um, regardless to the fact of, um, what you're doing and so forth or whatever because when the enemy is using you he used you to the fullest and you don't know who is being used to be against you as well you know what I'm saying like money, fame, all this riches, all this stuff is all fine and dandy until it can cause like have it or cause destruction in your life like everyone wants to be rich but you got some people that's just out here you know they never was rich they came from a low poverty family unit they went through things they were beaten down broken um molested raped a lot of bad shit happened with them they um 
later on in life or whatever they they've gotten older they're out here in the slum they come from the slum they come from a low poverty family unit they're still out here in the slum they could be either on drugs they could have been so spiritually blind or it had no guidance to where they couldn't even get themselves out of the mental entrapment or whatever so you know they're still down here and you know whatever happened for them they're still thankful and they're grateful for whatever little bit is given to them because they haven't never had it they just never had it or they don't care to either like you find some of these people that end up sleeping under the bridge sleeping in the park sleeping in the lakes not in the lakes but around the lakes or whatever you know sleeping in you know buildings that's un that's not open or whatever you find these people laid out in these areas or whatever with blankets whatever you find some of them even doing it and it'd be like freezing cold snowing they'll stay out here for as long as they can until the salvation army or whatever or something you know help them to you know come inside up out of the cold I even know of this homeless couple that was being out that um, there, uh, she ended up freezing to death, this lady, like a couple of years back or whatever. Nevertheless, to make a long story short, I'm not, you know, I'm skipping around with my stories and da 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 da, -da. I hope y'all can relate to what I'm saying or whatever. But nevertheless, what I'm speaking about is um, you have these people or whatever that, you know, they'll kill to be with someone that they feel that is more than themselves, which it's all an illusion. They figure that this person is more than them because of the illusion of what the world look at other people to place them in categories and in slots and different categories to make people think that people are more or less more than the other because of what they have. When it's you yourself as a person in your heart, your integrity, your character, and who you are as a person, how you treat people, how you love yourself, how you love others, and how you treat others is the value of who you are as a person. It's not the um, attachments that we t attach to ourselves to make us feel more or less greater or lesser than one another. Like, you know, this person is popular, this person got money, this person is famous, this person is this, you know, and, and they put them on, in bar skills and in, you know, uh, uh, categories where they make people feel more or less greater or lesser or inadequate up against one another, which causes a lot of altercations to occur and happen in everyone's life in this world it's destroying our world we the people are destroying our world so you know you got because you got some people that just have money handed to them some people that was born into wealth some people that is not don't have to really work hard to get wealth. some people that can go and just work for their family members company or their moms or dads company that they built that was given to them or this person had money to go establish a business money just came easy it doesn't happen like that for everyone so people need to stop looking at people and judging them oh they need to go get a job they you don't know where this person come from you don't know where what capacity this person's mental state is on that have entrapped them or have them more or lesser not being able to move forward in life from out of different conditions that have occurred and happened in their life, you know, that could cause them to be stuck and where they feel that they cannot get out of certain situations or places. I was even one of them. So, you know, no, you know, God had to, I have to go research things or whatever. So, you know, I never had anyone, never had any footing. You know what I'm saying? Never had a, 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 no one but God to hold me down. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to keep stressing this. 
or whatever. So, nevertheless, or whatever, and I do curse. So, you know, like I said, uh, Lord forbid, I don't want God to do anything to me to stop me from using profanity and bad language. So, y'all have to forgive me, okay? So, I ask for forgiveness constantly on these videos. So, y'all you know, take that into consideration as well. So, uh, nevertheless, um, what I'm stating or whatever, like, Mo3 basically was sleeping with the enemy. This person would kill to just be with a famous person. I don't know how long um, he had been with this individual, this girl and her family. You know, now they're stating that she was the one and it was her baby daddy that, you know, went and did. I've heard so many stories, but I'm telling you from my point of view and what God gave to me. God says, now you got to bring it back some. You got to come back. You got to come back. He said, because I want you to speak of this part of the story. He said, um, nevertheless, uh, Yellow Beezy and uh, Tri Boy Freddy is now stating, you know, as long as Mo3 is out of their hair, you know, because they, they was ready for him to be just, they wanted him to just disappear anyways. They wanted him to be out of the picture anyways. And nevertheless, it was for the wrong reasons. It was wrong intentions. Those guys should have been sticking together, being together. I don't know what type of connection, relationship, what they had or whatever. We don't know what these kids are doing or these young men or grown-ups because everyone's doing something. I, some older people act as young as they, they th you know, they act as young as Trap Boy, Freddy, Mo3, and they're like my age, they're older than me. I got people 15, 20 years older than me, or whatever, that's acting like they're 20-something and 30-something, or whatever. Nevertheless, however God make your body feel, we all need to be healthy, we all need to work on ourselves, try to eat better, because they say that black people are prone to to everything, we everything hit us first. That's why we're the first to go. We were the last to come from over there and we're the first to go. Like people just wanna get rid of us anyways, but you got people that use black people for the wrong reasons. And what happened to loyalty and love? What happened to not passing judgment on me and letting go of the color part of it and just let me be free to try to Get my hustle on, man. Give me a help in hand to help me get some footing. Don't try to own me like I'm still your slave. Don't try to give me something because you can use me for a particular moment and then throw me out to the dogs when you get ready. I don't need that type of love. That's not love to me. That's using me up. You're a narcissist. And once you get finished using me, you're done with me. I, I, I've dealt with that's why I don't get close to people. You know what I'm saying? Because I've seen this happen to other people. I've seen it happen to me. People will use you as far as much as they need you and then they will get rid of you or whatever. That's narcissistic. And you got them in little groups and once they know, and these narcissists are beyond sickening because they are people that have money too that are able to operate and uh, you know, um, operate these different positions and different things in um, particular places where they got the say so to counsel you out or at any time they get ready to. That's just sickening or whatever. That's why everyone should work on to try to. And I'm starting my life all over again, man. If I would have knew so much more that I know now, man, God had to sit me down and he had to help me, man. My mental was off. My mental, you know, I've been in some deep, dark places. I've been down, out, or whatever, but, you know, I'm trying slowly but surely to come up out of all of this because it's been a hard, long road for me. And um, I'm just stating my point of view. God told me to back it back up. Mo3 was basically sleeping with the enemy. This person did not care for Mo3 or themselves or their baby's father because if they had, they wouldn't have let it get that far. Your baby father wouldn't have been able to call you 
and try to track down Mo3 or anything else or how did follow him from your house or anything you shouldn't have in, ever invited him there you know that it was gonna cause problems you were the fucking devil yourself whoever this young lady is herself she's dealing with insecurities lack of integrity lack of character lack of loving herself lack of that's why she didn't know what love was had she had a known she wouldn't have even put mo3 in that position to even lose his life she wanted him gone anyways because she knew that he was a celebrity he could be with whoever he wanted to and if she couldn't have him she didn't want no one else to be able to have him so she killed two birds and one stone or the baby father killed two birds and one stone something of the other they all was the fucking enemy towards one another and they took this man's life whoever did it whoever paid whoever to do it if it was the baby's father if someone paid someone everyone's still lost in this situation so you're a dumb fuck that's all i have to say and god forgive me in the name of jesus for speaking that type of foul language or whatever towards you but you're you you're still it was a lose lose someone's life got lost you're still lost and you lost period and nothing's good gonna come back towards you for using that type of energy um to even parade this shit on like a circus like a a, a clown in a circus or zoo or whatever however y'all using this shit to do it and play it out and play out your parts oh my god y'all give me a headache is what you do and i just recommend that everyone seek out god seek out the higher power someone that's gonna love you more than what you love yourself and ask for forgiveness repent and change your life that's everyone all of us need to change in the name of jesus so that's all i got to say bye y'all and um yeah that's all i got to say um i know i skipped around uh, um i do that quite often i need to stay just right on but um i be so anxious and trying to get out what i'm trying to say y'all have to forgive me so anyways bye guys and y'all have a blessed day but don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel um my cash app is dollar signs charlie's angel 75 matter of fact you guys uh that's coming to my channel that you know feel the need that you want to snatch and grab and take little bits and pieces make movies songs and all of that dollar signs charlie's angel 75 drop something in that cash app for that matter if you're reaching and grabbing because i give i'm a giver and you should be one too so think about that when you're taking my items because if you're taking them with ill will intent intent it's gonna come back to you and you're gonna get your shit wiped out too in the name of jesus so the devil that used you is gonna come back and take yours too so nevertheless bye guys don't forget to like and subscribe god bless have a great day